Hello and welcome to Short Story Scene. I'm your host, the storyteller, and here we have a tale for you called The Art of War by Sun Tzu. Chapter 13, The Use of Spies. One Sun Tzu said, raising a host of a hundred thousand men and marching them great distances entails heavy loss on the people and the drain on the resources of the state. The delay expenditure will amount to a thousand ounces of silver. There will be commotion at home abroad and men will drop down exhausted on the highways. As many as 700,000 families will be impeded in their labor. 2. Hostile enemies may face each other for years, starting for the victory which is decided in a single day. This being so, to remain in ignorance of the enemy's condition simply because one grudges the outlay of the hundred ounces of silver in honors of emoluments and the height of inhumanity. 3. One who acts thus and no leader of men, no present help, and no sovereign, no master of victory. 4. Thus what enables the wise sovereign and the good general to strike and conquer and achieve things beyond the reach of ordinary men is foreknowledge. 5. Now that this foreknowledge cannot be elected from the spirits, it cannot be obtained inductively from experience, nor by a deductive calculation. 6. Knowledge of the enemy's disposition can only be obtained from other men. 7. Hence the use of spies of whom there are five classes. 1. Local spies. 2. Inward spies. 3. Converted spies. 4. Doomed spies. 5. Surviving spies. 8. When these five kinds of spies are all at work, none can discover the secret system. This is called divine manipulation of the threads. It is the sovereign's most precious faculty. 9. Having local spies means employing the services of inhabitants of the district. 10. Having inward spies making use of officials of the enemy. 11. Having converted spies getting hold of enemy spies and using them for your own purposes. 12. Having doomed spies doing certain things openly for purposes of deception and allowing our spies to know of them and report them to the enemy. 13. Surviving spies, finally, are those who bring back news from the enemy's camp. 14. Hence it is that which none in the whole army are most intimate relations to be maintained than with spies. None should be more liberally rewarded, and no other business should be greater secrecy be preserved. 15. Spies cannot be usefully employed without a certain intuitive stag let's see 16 they cannot be properly managed without benevolence and straightforwardness 17 without subtle integrity of mind one cannot make certain of the truth of their reports 18 be subtle be subtle and use your spies for every kind of business 19. If the secret piece of news is divulged by a spy before the time is ripe, he must be put to death together with the man of whom the secret was told. 20. Whether the object be crushed an army or a storm of the city or assassinate an individual, it is always necessary to begin by finding out the names of the attendants, the aides de camp, and doorkeepers and sentries and general in command, our spies must be commissioned to certain these. 21. That enemy spies who have come to spy on us must be sought out, tempted with bribes, led away, and comfortably housed. Thus they will become, become converted spies and available to our service. 22. It is through the information brought by the converted spies that we are able to acquire and employ local and inward spies. 23. It is owing to his information again that we can cause the doomed spy to carry false tidings to the enemy. 24. Lastly, it is by his information the surviving spy can be used on appointed occasions. 25. The end and the aim of the spying in all of the five varieties is knowledge of the enemy, and this knowledge can only be derived in its first instance from the converted spy. 
Hence, it is essential that the converted spy be treated with the utmost liberty. Look. 26. Of old, the rise of Yin Dynasty was due to Ai Chun, who was served under his Sia, and likewise, the rise of Chou Dynasty was due to Lu Ya and had served under the Yin. 27. Hence, it is only a lined ruler and a wise general who will use the highest intelligence of the army for purpose of spying and thereby they achieve great results. Spies are most important element in war because on, the, on them depends the army's ability to move. And that can conclude our tale of The Art of War by Sun Tzu, Chapter 13. If you like this content and like to support it, please head on over to Patreon. That is www.patreon.com forward slash short story scene. Thank you, Derek, for being a patron, and thank you all for listening. See you next episode. Bye.